Horse, 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 so Scott Galloway, a financial advisor, he is a professor of marketing at the New York University Stern School of Business. He's a public speaker. He's an author where he has a, on his Twitter page, which I'll have a link to below, he has a his book poorly photoshopped in front of him as if he's holding it, similar to how people are holding up the cans of spray, like of Lysol when coronavirus first came around. Maybe it's a play on that. Either way, it looks cheesy. And he's a podcast host, author, and entrepreneur. And he was on NBC, MSNBC talking about Wall Street bets as a whole. And he basically, I'm going to paraphrase here, said that people that are going out and buying these stocks need to go out and get laid. You think I'm kidding. He didn't say those exact words, but pretty damn close. Here's a clip from MSNBC, and then I'll discuss it with you. Maybe it's fun, fine, maybe it's a movement, but be prepared to lose 80 to 90% of it, and if it's still worth it, then have at it. But the biggest loss of capital here will be the human capital of young men who are sitting and staring at their phone and watching the price of Bitcoin or the price of AMC. And ask yourself, would you be better off taking that one, two, or three hours a day and working out, trying to form relationships with mentors, with, with, with romantic relationships, with people at work, getting great at something so you can be the person on the other side of the trade? The greatest loss in, in capital here is, is from young men who are more prone to gambling addiction, who don't understand uh, the markets. I think we are setting ourselves up similar to how there's a ton of young women out there who became very depressed by sitting in their rooms looking at Instagram, self-cutting and self-harm skyrocket. I think you are going to see uh, uh, an explosion in young male depression, and I think a lot of it is going to be reverse engineered to apps that convince you you're part of a movement or physically addict you to your phone. Ask yourself, would your time staring at Robin Hood be, be better spent somewhere else? That is the real capital destruction that is taking place here. Wow, he's got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Now, look, there is an, a point that he has there that he took way out of context and made it seem much worse. But yes, if you're investing money that you don't have, like I invested money into AMC, if I lose it, I lose it. I went in realizing chances were pretty high that at best I would just make back the money I put in. But there's a pretty damn high chance, especially after today, that I'll lose it all. If you're putting that money in and you don't have a savings and you may go and your house may be foreclosed on because you can't pay your mortgage, or you'll be kicked out because you can't pay your rent. Don't do that. Don't do that. But to say, first off, more people are in a position where they're putting some in to see what happens and it's not going to financially destroy them. And Scott, I don't know if you know, um, I think you do because of the field that you're in. There's these cool apps on your phone that I, I, I could look and takes two seconds. Oh, look how AMC is doing right now. It's doing kind of shitty. Okay, I move on with the rest of my day. To say that, oh, this is going to spark addiction for people. Th th if people already have that kind of addiction to their technology, they're already addicted through other social media apps. They were already probably... In, I, I just started investing in the stock market, something I wanted to do for years, but I stupidly did not. Um, And... Now I did. Does it mean that whole my whole life is taken over? No. I'll check it a few times a day. Like it takes up ten minutes of my day total, and that's what most people are doing. That are from Wall Street bets. That's what most people are doing. Scott, L like, why are you making it like people are that are doing this are destroying their entire life? Why are you making it? And he didn't directly say these words. I don't want to try to color what he said but essentially what it sounded like to me anyway and maybe you translated it different is that why are all these losers getting in on my game they don't know what they're doing 
they're just going to have to go back to their parents' basement. I'm not in my parents' basement, Scott. I have three kids. I have a family. I have a somewhat successful YouTube channel. I'm constantly doing stuff. You want to come fix my CRT HD TV, Scott? And I'll take over your trades for you. Why are you making it like everyone who's doing this is a social degenerate? And the same people you're talking about that we get addicted to this probably already had a gambling addiction or they were already addicted to social media. You're, it, they're just, I love the wall they're trying to put up around the Wall Street garden to keep everybody out. These people, this is what they do every day is stare at screens. Someone had a meme up that was perfect. All you're doing is staring at your phone and staring at Robin Hood, and this is what these people do. Look, again, to the small percentage that may be doing this, do not go into this expecting to make money. You're not going to. As a matter of fact, it's safe to say you're probably going to lose money. But to say that this movement shouldn't have happened and to label everyone who got in on this, including me, as a degenerate and a loser and you could be doing better things with your time, you could be doing better things with your time than complaining that people – look, this is, how the, this is how the stock market's played. A lot of people lose money. You could be doing better things with your time, Scott, instead of crying that other people are in on your game because that's what it sounds like, to be honest, at the end of the day. And you're trying to downplay those people and have people look over them and ignore them and be like, oh, they're just a bunch, another bunch of losers on the internet. It's not how it is, man. It's amazing when you get in on the top dog's game, how they try to label you as the bad guy. And we ain't the bad guys. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. How did I have three kids if I was a virgin, though? That's weird. I don't get it. Hmm. I'll have to figure that one out. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.